I just encourage us to think about how we can bless the next generation that follows us and and that is like as like I have more history behind me than I have future ahead of me, mm-hmm. but there are men and women coming into the flow of history and God's story of humanity that have a lot more future ahead of them than history behind them. And just as I walk off the stage of of life to be able to point some direction to those coming on. Mm. And I think that this is a really, I just think we're at a really exciting point in history. Like mm. God is doing amazing things in our world. And your generation has has more resources than any other generation in our circles has ever had. And Mm -hmm. the technology that you have, the ability to communicate is is amazing. And travel, Mm -hmm. the ability to travel is amazing. Like where I live, if my grandfather 100 years ago would have wanted to go from Ephrata, Pennsylvania to where I live, it would have taken him three months to get there. And I can leave my house in Sulaco at 7.30 in the morning and be in Philadelphia at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Like, that's mm-hmm. that's amazing. And we can be almost anywhere in the world in 24 to 48 hours. And, um, and then when we get there, we can get on some uh, social media app and video our mom and tell her we're here <laughs> and show her where we're sleeping and yeah. she relaxes and... And there's probably more wealth going to be transferred from one generation to another as the baby boomers die in the next 20 years than ever before in our circles. And mm-hmm. so I, I, I'm I, kind of jealous of the next generation. I, I really think it's a great time to be alive. And mm-hmm. God is, I think God's going to do some amazing things in the next 50 years. And the people who are a generation younger than me are going to get to watch what God does and mm. and be part of it. And it's going to take people who step forward to be leaders mm. to make those to help to make those things happen. Mm-hmm.